what we know about success in our industry is all wrong. What we know about building our business successfully post-COVID now has completely changed. We have, when we kind of factor out holidays, long weekends, different things coming up, we basically have three months left in 2022, and then 2022 is dead forever. It is just in the history books. I've been thinking a lot about success in the future for our industry, and there are new truths that are really, really, really leading the way for me, right? There's new information that are really dictating how I'm moving forward in my career with my agents and my business that I, that I want to give to you guys, and I haven't told anyone else this stuff. One truth that I've really been thinking about a lot is nothing happens anymore the way you think it's going to happen. No longer do you get to wake up, come into the office, check listings, have a cup of coffee, sit down at your desk, log in, touch base with clients. By the time you do all of that on your own time, clients have moved on. They've started reaching out to other people because they have information inside their phone in a nanosecond. Everything has changed and things don't happen the way you think they're gonna happen. Everything's different. Look at life in general. Like, we're supposed to go to school and then go to college and university and then get a job and then take on debt and then get a car. For example, I, I've just finished building a house. You know, I bought this townhouse in Brooklyn. I was gonna renovate it for a year, okay? I was gonna put some money into it, make it single family. It took me four years, okay? And four times the price. Never renovate anything in New York City ever. I had the best contractors, the best architects. I'm in the real estate business. I sell people townhouses all day long. I tell them what to do. Obviously, I know what I'm doing. Went a little bit overboard with the budget, but whatevs. Then, end of last summer, one night it starts raining. Hey, it starts raining a little bit. It rains all the time. Six floors, 8,000 square feet. The house is perfect. A little rain's not gonna mess it up, I think. I go into the backyard, and it's been like 40 minutes since the rain started. I go into the backyard, and the backyard um, has become a pool. The water's not draining. I didn't even think about this. This might be a problem. I know what to do. So I go back into the house. I run to the front. You know what I do? I get a broom, okay? I'm gonna broom the water away from the house and I'm gonna protect the house and everything's gonna be fine. I have drainage, everything's gonna be okay. So I'm out there, I'm sweating in the middle of this hurricane. Everyone else is like hunkering down and I'm out there and I'm like sweeping water, okay? And then I hear a crash. I'm like, that's not great. That's not great. I go downstairs into the cellar, ceiling's gone. What in the gods? I don't even know what to do. I go upstairs. The water now is not coming in through the doors, which is where I put all of our towels. We, we, we had no towels anymore. So all the towels go into the door. The water's now coming in under the baseboard. I'd never been in a flood before. I had no idea what to do. Complete shit show. No one can help me. And the lower two levels of the house get completely destroyed. Gone. Complete loss. Right? And the rain doesn't stop for three days. Fast forward 10 days later, New York got hit by a second hurricane that was even worse. Whole house refloods. Turns out the drains I had were not built for hurricanes. Things don't happen the way we think they're gonna happen. Do not be the person out there with a broom, okay? Today, to be successful, we can no longer be reactive to the market. We can no longer be reactive to leads. We can no longer be reactive to building our brand and building our business. I'm not going to be reactive to anything. Anyone calls me yelling at me, any deal dies, any of that. That's what's supposed to happen because things don't happen the way we think they're going to happen. And it's okay. Deals die. Great. That's the job. Be proactive and focus on success. Set your goals every single year. So what are those goals and how are you going to hit them so you can start being more and more proactive about what's going to happen? So be proactive about it and plan for it and choose success first. Things are not going to happen the way you think they're going to happen. Right? And when you do that, when you choose success first, they used to tell us all the time that success doesn't happen overnight, but now success can happen overnight. You don't have to wait anymore. 
The power of the technology that we all have in our phones, the power of content. Are you kidding me? There is so much that we can do just with what you're doing right now. I talk about deals all the time, right? We all do in this business. You had a crazy deal last week, last year. Oh my God, that guy. If any of you have read Sell Light, Sir Ant, or Big Money Energy, or Watch Million Dollar Listing, or followed me on any of the social channels, you know, I talk about deals. Like, what else am I gonna talk about? Randomly, Diego in this room who was just up here, he's like, why don't you tell a deal story? We'll put it on TikTok. I'm like, yeah, that's so boring. Like, no one, no one cares about deal stories unless they're actually seeing it. We did that uh, earlier this year. We put it up on TikTok. 5.6 million people watched it. I then get a call. Hey, I get a call from a guy who lives in Soho who says, hey, I just saw this video of this crazy deal that you did on this thing that my, my niece put on my phone, the Tocatix. Um, uh, we're looking to sell our apartment. Uh, I don't know, you seem like you do business. That video is totally crazy, that deal. Could you come and take a look at my apartment? Sure, absolutely. 311 West Broadway, I go to his house. We sold it in a month for six and a half million dollars. That deal, then introduced me to a woman named Jane who lived on 81 Worcester, which is also in Soho. And she's like, oh, if you could sell that, can you sell mine? I'm like, yeah, sure, that's what I do, actually. That's kind of my job, okay? We sell real estate. Awesome, sold that for $6.8 million. She'd never seen TV before. She didn't know million dollar listing. She didn't know my books. She just saw that I had success over here. From that, I get introduced to a buyer who we just closed on who bought an apartment at 25 Northmore in Tribeca for $22.5 million and on and on and on the train goes. And all I did was sit there in my office with a camera in front of me that's on a phone, and we all have phones, talking about a real estate deal I had done years and years and years ago. Success can happen overnight now. You all have the power to do things that even I couldn't do 10 years ago. You have the opportunity every single day to wake up smiling. You have the opportunity every single day to choose to be happy, okay? It's possible, and it's all up to you. Every single moment of every single day, if you remain proactive and you remain positive, even through all the shit, because the shit is the job. Everything else is the bonus. Everything else is what makes us, and you learn from all the tough stuff. One of the most important truths, I think, and seeing all of your faces in this room, uh, I think it's a really, really, really big one, is people equal profits. You've heard people say that your net work, right, is your net wealth. It is more true today than it has ever been in the history of time. You have to use each other and you have to talk and you have to put yourself out there as an amazing opportunist in this business. And there are no lone millionaires. Doesn't exist. Your personal brand, as you focus on that and as you expand, that's your biggest lead generator. That is what will carry you through, right? That is what people are gonna be calling on and the minute you wake up and you have leads in your inbox and you realize that you are not just a salesperson, you're not just a broker, but you are actually a brand, everything changes. The way you operate changes. The way you eat your breakfast changes. The way you think about your life changes. So part of your work going forward from here, if there's anything that I, I leave you with, is that everyone in this room, you should all talk to each other. This is the greatest room of potential deals I have seen in a really, really, really long time. Except you stay in your bubbles and you think everyone's competitive with one another. People equal profits. Another truth that's huge is it used to be you had to do what you could do step by step. Everything is wrong. Everything's different. You have to start thinking bigger today. Today. A couple years ago, I decided I wanna do nine figure deals. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I have no idea, but I believe I can do it. I don't know how I'm gonna meet those people. I don't know how I'm ever gonna get listings like that. I'm just gonna figure it out. I will not fail and I will not sleep until I do a listing or a deal over $100 million. A developer of ours that we'd worked with before when I started my, my company and kind of did everything, reached out to me when I started and said, hey, would you like to take on this building? We trust you, we believe in you. Okay, great. But I knew they also had bigger things. The minute I signed on that project, I ran after them. Anything you do that's big, I wanna do it. I'm your nine figure deal. I'm that guy. Put myself out there. Anything, putting myself out there as a billion dollar broker, as the hundred million dollar broker. I did the same thing years and years and years ago when I wanted to get into the million dollar price point. I'd never sold anything for over a million dollars. So how am I gonna do it? I tell people I do it. You'll see in the Wall Street Journal, 
I'm listing the most expensive home in the history of New York City for $250 million. From that same client, the process is real, and it's the power of positive energy and focusing on that foundation and dictating where you want to be in the future. It's a really, really, really important truth. Think bigger. Where do you want to get to? Write it out and get to there. Put yourself in those situations. You'll be uncomfortable for such a short period of time in the history of your life. It'll be so unfortunate if you don't do it. It's okay to put yourself in situations that are gonna help you get better, help you get more. Final truth that really, really, really has been in my brain a lot that I wanna kinda of leave you with is it's supposed to be hard. This is supposed to be hard. I feel like we flip the script on ourselves a lot. You lose a deal, you lose a buyer, you didn't hit your goals, or you got it done, but you're not as happy with the year as you want it to be, or you're crushing it, but you should have crushed it more. This business is hard. But if you choose success, success will carry you forward. Everybody says, if it was easy, everybody could do it. Yeah, that's fine. But what they taught us over and over and over is that if you do the work, you put in the 10,000 hours, you will figure it out, everything will be okay. It could always be you. Maybe you can't. But you can make it so just knowing that it's gonna be hard. You are supposed to fail. This year, next year, you're gonna pitch the biggest listing you've ever gone after and you're not gonna get it and you're not gonna get it real hard. And it's gonna be real personal. You're gonna have a contract fall through. The deposit's just not gonna show up. You're not gonna understand. And the mom was your buyer. You're gonna be like, mom, what's up? And she won't talk to you anymore. It's supposed to be hard. Our mental mindset is what carries us forward. But how you get through those failures and how you take the successes and turn those into your personal brand by screaming them from the mountaintop that's the career. The job is supposed to be hard. The job is full of failure and broken deals. Be okay with those, learn from them, and move forward. Look at the biggest companies in the world. Look at Amazon. They fail so hard all the time. One of the biggest companies in the world. Amazon used to have a cell phone. Did you know that? They made a cell phone. They bet the whole company on it. They lost nearly $200 million on going into the cell phone business. But the product team that created that cell phone then shifted, pivoted, learned from that massive and super expensive failure and created Amazon Alexa. That's a real story. Every deal I've ever lost has pivoted and propelled me into my next one that is so much better than the one I almost did over here. Life is awesome. You are all so, so lucky to be here. Let's go have the greatest fall market we have ever known, and let's take this year to the stratosphere and then blow the shit out of 2023. Thank you so much for having me.